All right, guys, so we just came away from a win from an all-night tournament. Decided to come up river, fish wigwam. We got tournament out here tomorrow morning. So we're gonna try and pre-fish this for a little bit and uh, see if we can't figure out some bite. We go from clear water fishing to some, I wouldn't say it's muddy, but it's definitely stained. So we're gonna get on it and uh, try and catch a couple fish before tournament tomorrow. See how we do. <laughs> Hooked up. Well, guy, nothing to brag about, but <laughs> hey, first fish up river. Well, no hey, Bob's hooked up. You want me to lip them for you? Yeah, you got him. Just swing them in. Stop playing with them. Play, 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 play. Not bad fish, though. There's a small keeper. A chunk. Yeah, that's a good two and a half. <laughs> Hold it to the It's only a matter of time, baby. I know. And finally you listen to what I told you. <laughs> what, catch a fish? Yeah. Hey. I'm gonna swing wide all at you. Big one. That's a five. God, he's a feisty son of a gun. Alright. Enough playing around. Boat flip. He's not a five, but he fought like a five. Yeah, that's a good freaking four. There's a good one right there. Little pocket crawl, green pumpkin red flick. Can't complain, feisty fella. I'm feeding good. All right. 10 pounds. This is about, ooh. Is that walleye? Yep. Is that dinner? More dinner. <laughs> walleye. Will you grab them for me? No. <laughs> Take care of your own fish. <laughs> what are the odds of that, though? I guess while I eat crawl bed, so. <laughs> well, I thought you had another keeper. Me too. Look, like he had it good too. <laughs> it's up again. That's uh, not quite a keeper. All right, there you have it, guys. We're wrapping up uh, a good day on the water. Um, decided to get off a little bit early so we can come home and cook, get some rest for our tournament tomorrow. So we spent about two and a half, three hours fishing. Um, definitely noticed that the bite was up against channel swings or bluff. Uh, not bluff, but where the channel butted up closest to the bank and every good quality fish came on a dock or the stretch of bank where it was the steepest. Uh, obviously upriver there's not a lot of deep water so when you're talking deep you're talking at most 30 foot so I'm gonna make a run 30 miles down Bob now knows kinda what he wants to focus on up that way and uh, we're gonna go out and we're fishing against each other tomorrow so we'll just have to see how we do uh, I've just been so busy I didn't even realize I have over 600 subscribers so I need to do a 600 subscriber giveaway and I was looking through the subscribers that I have. I normally do like a drawing and whatnot, but to sit there and cut up a bunch of paper for 600 people, that's crazy. I scrolled through, and I, I mean, immediately I came across somebody that I felt uh, is deserving of a $25 gift card from Omega. Um, as you saw in the last video, I ended up winning a $25 gift card 
uh, for being the winners of the tournament. And I don't need that. What I want to do is I want to pass that gift card on to Steve Bearshaft. I don't know exactly how to spell your name. It's pretty, uh, it's different. I'm assuming it's German or something. But yeah, look, look at this picture. This guy, he, he deserves it. I mean, who, who else, uh, who else could I think, you know, better off than getting that? So, Steve, get a hold of me. I'll get you this $25 gift card to Omega, and hopefully um, you can build confidence in these jigs just the same that I did. Um, they're great product, great jigs. So, anyways, guys, that's what the that's what we found out this evening, and hopefully tomorrow comes away with a, a decent turnout for uh, Bob or I. So, enjoy, and you guys have an awesome day.